Hey everyone, this is Anurag Ray from PestRumorWarrior.com and in this video I am going to talk about how to get rid of caterpillars on plants. Now, caterpillars can be a problem if they are infesting in your garden or infesting your plants in big numbers. They can do severe damage to your plants and that is something you don't want. Now, uh, these caterpillars normally in small numbers are not that harmful, they are for the environment. However, uh, if the number keeps on increasing, that can be really alarming because they can do severe damage. Now, uh, from a caterpillar comes moth or butterfly, so there are approximately 1,75,000 species of butterf uh, caterpillars because, uh, because there are 1,75,000 species of moths and butterflies combined. So, you have to understand that these caterpillars can be vary from different, there are different kind of species of them and their characteristics from vary from caterpillar to caterpillar and some of them are even poisonous and some of them are non-poisonous, some of them just damaging to the garden and some of them have different properties. So, there are different kind of caterpillars out in the nature and I am going to uh, tell you a few, few things about those caterpillars. The first and foremost thing that I would like to share, share with you is that there are poisonous caterpillars out there and some name of the poisonous caterpillars are monarch caterpillars. Monarch caterpillars are caterpillars that look much like a candy, have a very good pattern in their body and that pattern makes them distinguish that they are, that's a poisonous caterpillar. Now these caterpillars obviously feeds on milkweed and that's what makes them poisonous. That thing doesn't harm them but definitely can be poisonous to someone who if, try, if they try to consume them, especially cat, dog. If they try to consume them it can become deadly for them because uh, the milkweed is a poisonous plant and that thing can create a lot of problem for many animals or anything that try to consume them. This is a defense mechanism for that caterpillar and that works really well. The second caterpillar that is which is also a very poisonous one is saddleback caterpillars. Now these caterpillars have a saddle like structure on their back that's why the name came here saddleback caterpillars and these caterpillars are also really poisonous and should be avoided at all costs. There are spikes all throughout the body and these saddleback caterpillars are actually very much poison. The poison can create allergic reactions within you in, in a person if they try to come in contact with and if the person is ends up touching the caterpillar the, the spikes can actually break and then get stick to the hand and that can create pain a lot of swelling and can create allergic reaction so this caterpillar should also be avoided at all costs. The third caterpillar is IO moth caterpillars this is also one of the most poisonous caterpillars and should be avoided at all costs. Now these caterpillars are, have spikes throughout their body and they have a very distinct line that runs through the lower side of their body this color is actually very much um, like red and white and you can identify this is the IO moth caterpillar just by looking at that line. This is this pattern is actually specifically for the IO moth caterpillar so this is not available other moths. Uh, they are available in different patterns but not like this and along with that this IO moth caterpillar has a lot of spikes around their body and if you touch them the same thing happens that is it breaks and it creates lots of pain, swelling and can even create allergic reaction within the person and should be avoided at all costs. The children can actually get attracted to that and can touch that it can become very problematic for the children if they end up touching the caterpillar like that. So it should be avoided at all costs and it need to make sure that um, if an adult person or your kid or a dog or your pet should not get in contact with these caterpillars. Now I am going to reveal you few, these are the, some of the few dangerous caterpillars that are out on the uh, world and they can, there are many species out there and uh, the normal and distinctive thing about poisonous caterpillar is their spikes. A caterpillar that has lot of spikes within them are most likely a very poisonous one. The spikes actually tells them that it's a poisonous caterpillar and stay away from me. It's a defense mechanism so that they are not killed by predators because they are small creatures and can be targeted by many predators so these spikes actually protects them from getting eaten by other predators. Now coming back to the point of how to get rid of them is that they are going to share some of the tips that I think are really helpful and that will really get rid of most of the caterpillars from your home easily and some of this is a mixture of both chemical ways and natural ways and I think you will really find it helpful. So number one way is to use pesticides of course. Now pesticides as is a widely used chemical around the world and it is being used for getting rid of various kinds of pests and it also works really well on caterpillars. Now you have to just buy the pesticides from your local market or from online and then just use it according to the directions. Spray it in your garden and uh, you will see the caterpillar die. Now the only problem of pesticides is that it also kills the good pest along with the bad pest so it can be a little bit problematic so use it in a very uh, controlled uh, amount because you don't want to, to kill the good pest because they are really needed for the flourishment of your plants 
and you don't want them to die so that's why make sure that you are using in specific quantities and you knowing that how you are using it and how much you need for it understand that and then use it carefully because overusing is not really good and consuming that if there is any fruit in that plant and you if you consume it without washing it can also be problematic because this chemical is not suitable for human also so you need to take proper care when you are using pesticides second way is to use electric power washer now this electric power washer is actually available online and you can check it on amazon or any other website this electric power washer actually has high pressure water within it and if you are willing to get rid of caterpillar like from non non conventional uh sprayer water sprayer that won't really work that well because caterpillar can stick to a surface and it very difficult to get rid of them just by spraying water until and unless there is the force in the water the caterpillar would fall down so that's why this electric power washer comes into play you can it is a high pressurized water and you can once you start spraying you will see the effect immediately caterpillar will start falling from the plants however the only problem with that is that this is a hard uh, this is a high pressure water and the water goes at very high speed and the pressure so if you are you have delicate plants in your house and you want to get your caterpillar from it then uh, you have to make them few things like you have to maintain uh, at least spray it from 1.5 meters to 6 meter 1.6 meters away so that the spray doesn't actually kill uh, damage the plant but get rid of the caterpillar and now it has enough force to actually get rid of the caterpillar once it heated even if you are spraying it from that distance and i think that works really well in uh, for getting rid of almost all kind of caterpillars because uh, this caterpillars has a maybe a good they can stick to the surface really well but in front of this pressure water jet uh, i don't think they can really uh, work that way third way is to use chili spray now chili spray can also be really effective against them because the strong flavor of chili spray can actually get rid of the caterpillars if you start affecting them immediately and they will start feeling feeling irritation once the chili spray hits them and they will start falling off from the tree or they will avoid that place at all cost because this is a really effective remedy now you need to make sure that uh, once you use the chili spray once the caterpillars are Uh, get rid get, you get it of the caterpillars from your plants immediately wash it with water because you don't want the chili spray to completely stay over there wash it with water and then that will do the job just fine now you have to mix the chili spray with a little bit of uh, soap and that will get it of the caterpillars all you have to do is just um, get the chili spray and uh, get the you can just grind few chilies or you can just get chili powder from a local market and then just mix it well with a dishwash detergent and then put it in a, a sprayer mix 500 ml of water and then just simply mix it well and then spray it and that will do the job for you the fourth way is to use soap water itself now the soap water is really great to get rid of um, uh, many kind of pests and caterpillars also one of them it doesn't kill them but it will get rid of them because the surface will become slow so slippery that the caterpillar won't be able to hold to the sur- surface and will fall down this is simple remedy just make uh, you can use a hand wash or you can use a detergent just a uh, mix it well with a with 500 ml of water and uh, depending upon the infestation how much water you want to use uh, then just yeah add it mix it well and then just spray it directly over the caterpillars now if you are willing to use uh, let's say a uh, of uh, uh, 10 liter of water or maybe a uh, 100 liter of water depending upon if you have a big garden you may need lot amount of water for that case you need to add more uh, liquid hand wash or lot lot amount of detergent to make it slippery you have to be thick and it has to be more slippery in order to make it work like for 100 ml of water you may need more than one packet or two packet of detergent or maybe a one uh, one packet of liquid hand wash if you are using that now that it works really well and is available in everyone's house so it's a really effective remedy and it's very cheap and the fourth way is to use organic bacteria now organic bacteria are actually bacteria that are found on in the soil and these are effective against caterp- caterpillar like pests soft bird pests and it works really well just you, you can buy it from online stores or if it is available on your local store then you can definitely buy it from there but it is available on online stores so you can definitely buy it from amazon and once you just simply uh get them uh use it directly over the places where you see the caterpillars and we can also put it on the caterpillars and uh, throw it, use it on the caterpillars and that will get rid of the caterpillars now this spray is actually it is a spray so you can come you can get it from the online like i mentioned before and you can just simply spray it over the caterpillars and that will do the job then this bacteria actually create digestion problems in the caterpillar and the caterpillar stops eating food and that's what kills them it doesn't kills them immediately 
but this problem starts occurring within the caterpillar and the caterpillar starts dying because it cannot eat food food is an essential item even for caterpillars so they won't be able to live without food for a long time and they will die the fifth way is to use your hands now like i mentioned before there can be poisonous caterpillars out there and you need to be very careful when you are using this so wear a very thick gloves that will protect you against poisonous caterpillar also where the sting won't be able to get through that gloves so to make sure the glove is thick enough to stop to make that happen to stop the caterpillar sting from getting inside on your hand once you have got their gloves just simply hand pick them just you can use your hand and then just throw them away and uh, put them in a place from where you can just throw them away to another place take them away to another place just use your hand to get rid of the caterpillars individually and is a simple remedy there is no cost involved in it except for the gloves and then once you are done it you can do it repeatedly for a long period of time this technique is actually applicable if you have small garden or if you have a uh, house plants in that case this is applicable but if you have big large garden and for very big places can be very difficult unless you have many workers actually working for you that can actually get rid of the caterpillars along just by doing hand picking without using any chemicals without doing any other solutions this works really well because this is your hand picking them using your hand but this is only the drawback of this technique the seventh way is to use neem oil now neem oil actually is works really well because neem is a very effective remedy and it actually gets rid of 200 different kind of pest and it works really well also on caterpillars now place it in a, you just make a neem or you can get your neem oil from online or if you have neem tree you can just crush it and then make neem oil and mix it with water you just need a little bit of let's say 50 ml of water uh 50 ml of neem oil and mix it with 250 ml of water and then you can just mix it well and then just spray it in all of the spaces where you see caterpillars or you expect caterpillars to come the neem oil actually doesn't kill them but repels them so you need to make sure that you are applying the neem oil before hand so that it stop the caterpillar from coming into that place now if the caterpillars are already infested in that place you can also spray the neem oil to just get it off them they won't kill them but caterpillar will move out from that place because caterpillar cannot tolerate the soft neem oil So neem oil is also a very effective remedy in getting rid of caterpillars. You simply use it as a simple remedy. It is a natural remedy; it doesn't have any side effects, and it's worked really well. So that's it for this video. If you really like this video, don't forget to click on the like, comment, and subscribe button. I'm uploading two videos every single week. That is on Monday and Friday. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell, so that you can receive updates about my video and also my channel grow. Thank you.